I'm here in Hobbiton in New Zealand visiting the set of Lord of the Rings. I thought this was a great time to talk about the similarities between Lord of the Rings and crypto. The Shire has no central authority. It works through a decentralized system of trust-based peer-to-peer interactions. And also, hobbits are fond of keeping detailed records of their family trees going back centuries, which is kind of like a blockchain ledger. So the Shire is kind of like a crypto meetup, and Mordor is kind of like Reddit, because it's filled with orcs and trolls. And uh, Bilbo's disappearing act is kind of like Satoshi's. <laughs> Hodlers be like, my precious. precious. Gandalf mentions that Bilbo never realised that his mithril chainmail suit was worth more than the entire Shire, which is kind of like someone who bought Bitcoin early on and uh, didn't really realise the value until uh, eight years later. Mithril. Behind me is the Green Dragon Pub, which we're heading to in just a second. And speaking of dragons, Smog is kind of like the Federal Reserve, oppressing the people for decades and centralising all of the gold for itself. Forged in the fires of the Bitcoin mines, one coin to rule them all. Runes and Elvish and crypto, it's all human unreadable. Not all that glitters is gold, not all those who wander are lost. From darkness light shall spring, the blade shall be renewed, um, and the crownless again shall be king. If you like my channel, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe. I also have a Patreon account and wanted to give a special shout out to all the awesome people there. And a huge thank you to the sponsors of the show for making these videos possible. Thanks so much for watching. She used to just party.